Science is an essential tool to solving the world's biggest problems that we have right now. Whether you're talking about global climate change, whether you're talking about food security or water issues, extreme weather conditions, or diseases. And so today, we want kids to engage in natural phenomena and to explore science and be able to explain things that they can see in their everyday life that are also relevant to them and meaningful. We know that sparking that curiosity in kids as young as they can be is really important. And we know young kids really love and enjoy science. What matters is that students behave as scientists. They think of themselves as scientists. And so if they are exploring an idea, they need to explore it as a scientist. And we need to give them every opportunity to build that muscle in schools, in learning science, starting at very young ages. Having a vision for science education and standards is important, but it's not enough. In order to have that vision become reality in the classroom, teachers need instructional materials that align with the standards so they can focus on instruction, they can focus on assessment, they can focus on helping kids learn science. The key idea is that kids see the science they're doing as something that connects to things that they are wondering about and that they care about. And that's really one of the major parts of the Next Generation Science Standards and other state standards that were motivated by the framework for K-12 science. Carnegie Corporation of New York has been involved in science education for over a decade. When the framework for K-12 science education was developed, we were the supporter of that work. It has now become one of the most downloaded reports from the National Academy of Sciences for over a decade. That laid the foundation for the development of the Next Generation Science Standard. About eight years ago, when the states had started to adopt new science standards, there was a lack of high quality instructional materials and there wasn't a clear demand for what high quality instructional materials look like in science. And so OpenSciad was launched to address that problem. We're trying to help science become more meaningful for kids, for teachers, and part of that involved new standards that was an effort beginning about 10 years ago. But teachers need ideas about the kinds of activities to do with their kids, and that's what high quality instructional materials can be, especially if they can be vetted through field trials, through testing around the country, which is what we're doing with Open Science, and iterating through multiple trials to make them better and better so that we can put them in the hands of teachers out in the field. It takes these high quality instructional materials that are designed to shift how we teach science instruction and how we help more of our students be seen and heard, and it makes it come to life. And by grounding the professional learning in the very curriculum materials that we're gonna go use to make that shift happen, it feels productive for teachers, and they're able to more seamlessly try these instructional materials out that are designed for some pretty big shifts in instruction. We want these materials to become what schools and teachers craft their learning around. And so it's not something imposed on teachers and students, but really becomes part of their culture in their school. It really is building a community and they're giving you tools to help you be able to implement the curriculum and also ideas of how to be able to make it your own to fit your own classroom needs and your own teaching style. In the Open Science curriculum, one of the greatest parts of that is that you have a storyline that you're following. And each day you know where you are in that storyline and you know where you're going. And you already have things that are put together for you to implement that particular part of the curriculum, that particular unit. Coherence in Open Syed is one of the main themes that runs across all of the curriculum materials, the teacher materials, and now our assessment materials. The interim assessment that's aligned to Open Syed will help to bring together the assessment system that's already in place in the Open Syed materials and then kind of do a zoom out view of how students are doing in bigger chunks of time. Open Syed released a year ago its middle school program in grades six, seven, and eight, and it's received a high quality, green-lated review by Ed Reports. Their high school courses in biology, chemistry, and physics are coming out later this year, but on the horizon, in the next two to three years, elementary materials are gonna to start to emerge. And the reason that's important is that, on average, kids get about 20 minutes of science a day compared to 60 minutes of math and over 90 minutes of English language arts. At Open Syed, we feel it's really important 
to have the teacher's voice in the creation of our materials. So currently we have almost 500 teachers in nine states all over the country helping us field test these materials. We then take that teacher's feedback and make our materials better, improve them, really thinking about what it is that teachers and their students need within our materials. Science education is critical to our country's future and it's critical that students in elementary schools have access to high quality science education.